Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something tech savvy for you. Have you ever wondered how to check if your RAM type is DDR3 or DDR4 in Windows 10 or 11? Well, you're in luck because we've got not just one, but three methods to help you out. Stick around as we dive into the world of RAM identification. The first method we're going to look at is using the Task Manager. So, you might be surprised to learn that Task Manager can actually provide you with some basic hardware information, including your RAM type. Let's see how it's done. First, right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager from the context menu. Once Task Manager is open, navigate to the Performance tab. Here, you'll see several sections, including CPU, memory, disk, and more. Click on the Memory section to expand it. As you can see here it shows I have DDR3, but one thing you should know in the updated versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11 you will not see the memory type in Task Manager. So let us look at the second method. For those who prefer a more user-friendly approach, we're talking about third-party software like CPUZ. Simply go and download and install CPUZ from their website. You can download the executable or the zipped file. Better you download the zipped file. Extract the zipped file. Run the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit machine. Click on the Memory tab and it will show you the memory type installed on your computer. Method number 3 involves using the command prompt. Don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. Open the command prompt. Now, type the following command. Hit enter and voila. You'll see a numerical value. If it's 24, it means DDR3, and if it's 26, it's DDR4. 20 means DDR and 0 means unknown. And there you have it, folks. Three simple methods to check if your RAM type is DDR3 or DDR4 on Windows 10 and 11. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or just curious about your system specs, knowing your RAM type is always handy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.